My name is Mladen Kovacic and I'm the director of the film Unplugged. Um, I will try to recollect as much as I can about it. Uh, how did I find uh, such unusual characters? Um, well, I, uh, it, it did take some research, uh, several months of research. Uh, um, I, I had help from, from the professors at the, uh, at the university. There is a department for the uh, at, uh, musicology ethno and, and ethnology. I, I even forgot which department it was, but uh, probably from both. And um, uh, but mainly these musicologists that that um, uh, that were researching the the um, old ways of, of playing music or um, ethnic music and and the, the, um, the trying to trying to. Uh, record them before it was lost, uh, uh, had some database or and even recordings of, of some of these characters. But um, uh, for, for most of them, leaf wasn't the main instrument. They could play leaf besides some other instruments that, that, that they played. And uh, so at the beginning, I, I, uh, I managed to find the three characters. Uh, and they're all old people because it's it's a art that is disappearing. Uh, I don't believe that we will have many leaf players in in uh, in the future here in Serbia. And so one of them died just before we started the shoot. So there was only two characters left. And Josip um, he didn't play the leaf, but he played twenty something other instruments. Um, he seemed interesting uh, enough as a character, so I decided to to get in touch with him and ask him uh, would he actually uh, be interested to 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 learn to to play the leaf as well because it just felt that he's trying to learn as many instruments as possible, and of course he accepted the challenge. That's how I I came to to have these these three characters in the film. Did the main character and the other characters know each other before the film? Well, no. That was the whole. Um, that was one aspect of this um, this film. This little dramatic tension that they are actually getting to know each other um, in the film, and uh, so this whole quest of Josip to to find people who could um, uh, teach him how to play uh, the leaf was. Um, uh, I guess more interesting because he didn't know these characters before. Um, I mean, knowing Josip, uh, if he knew them before, he would ask them to teach him how to play the leaf before the film was shot, and then the whole um, um, uh, the whole uh, this dramatic tension of whether or not would he learn how to play the leaf um, wouldn't work. That was the whole idea that he would explore. Um, this this um, uh, craft of leaf playing in the film, in the film itself. Well, it's it was a straightforward collaboration. I I I, I got to know them and and they were interested to show um, uh, to present themselves their everyday life and uh, lives and, and and also their craft of uh, of leaf playing. Uh, to the audiences, they they probably saw that I was um, very sincerely interested in in, in what they're doing. Um, uh, uh, important thing about this first part of the question: Did Josip uh, did he learn uh, how to play the leaf before the film? He actually never learned how to play the leaf. Not in the film. Not even after the film. He gave up on that because it it. it uh, the leaf playing it just it seems very um, uh, simple uh, but it's a very complicated craft and and it takes months 
probably even years just to learn how to control the airflow to produce the correct tones. Everybody can make a sound with the lead, but actually to carry out the melody, it's a very complicated thing. And then of course you have all these other elements, you know, the leaf needs to be the right kind, the, the time of the year needs to be the, the right time of the year. You can't play if the, uh, if the, if the leaves are, are um, if it's not spring or summer if they're not um, um, flexible enough or you know just proper for for leaf playing so it was it was a hard thing to do and Josip the guy who plays 20 something instruments gave up on, on playing the leaf. I didn't spend much time uh, with the characters before the shoot I saw them several times I think uh, it's very difficult for the characters once they show you and tell you stuff about themselves to kind of repeat it in front of the camera they they feel as if they're repeating themselves in front of you and uh, so I, I like to keep it as, as fresh as possible I would just get hints of what could be happening and then and then start shooting as soon as possible and how much did the shooting take place actually I don't remember but not too long not too long a couple of weeks I, I, I never have too many shooting days well uh, about the sound guy it just felt very natural that um, since we are making a film about music music about sounds that the, the, the sound recording is very important uh, aspect of the film. I wanted to draw attention to that aspect of the film. And I, I also felt that even visually, um, this, this microphone that is pointing toward the mouth and, and the leaf uh, um, uh, that is being held and kind of almost hidden with, uh, with, the, with, the, with the hands, because that's how they, they hold the leaf, would also help even visually in, in some of these scenes. So I, I had this idea before, I was just waiting for the right moment to, to, to give a, a, a hint to, to, the, uh, to the DOP, uh, Pablo Ferro, to turn the camera toward, towards the, the, the sound guy, even. And, and uh, when, the right, when the moment felt right, we actually recorded it. And, and then from then on, it was easy to, to include him in, in the film. Also, he's, Ivan, the guy who recorded the sound, he's, he's a musician. And he knows all these melodies that these characters are playing, these old uh, folk melodies. So he would occasionally even remind them about these melodies by whistling. And so in a way, he was um, um, a minor character in the film. I, I thought it would be interesting to try to make a very serious film about a topic that is not too serious. And, and I knew the result would be uh, somewhat uh, offbeat and, and probably even comical. And uh, so this is something I, I was ready for before we started shooting. Other than that, it was a um, very observational style of filmmaking, even though camera was kind of very present there. Uh, 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 occasionally the characters, it would, it would move from this observational style into something more poetic and uh, um, even, even the characters um, 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 uh, directly addressing um, uh, not not audience, but you know it 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 was it were uh, these were situations that were borderline uh, interviews, but not really. So it was kind of I would say in terms of style, it was uh, much more eclectic than my other films, and uh, uh, because the idea was as I said before, to kind of um, um, communicate this offbeat aspect, but also the important aspects of, of leaf playing, you know, like the fact that it's so hard to learn that, you know, there are no shortcuts in life, even with the thing like, like, uh, like leaf playing. So um, um, I, I kind of let myself be quite free with the, with the style of the film. And at the end, I, I must say, I mean, I, I always thought that since the moment I made this film, it, it was a, 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 an, an, an imperfect, in, imperfect little film, but there was something to it. And I guess that's the reason why, why people keep showing it uh, this many years after it was, after it was uh, premiered.